NASA's Voyager 1, a renowned space probe, has issued an intriguing alert to Earth. Voyager 1, celebrated globally for its remarkable expedition through the vastness of space, was initially designed for a five-year mission. Astonishingly, this enduring spacecraft has defied all expectations, surpassing nearly five decades in operation. In a groundbreaking development, Voyager 1 has just detected a swarm of unknown objects traversing through space. The question arises, what are these unidentified flying objects? Join us as we delve into the discovery of how Voyager 1 identified 300 mysterious objects in its path through space. While we admire Earth's breathtaking natural wonders, cascading waterfalls, towering mountains, and vibrant ecosystems, it's essential to grasp that our planet offers just a glimpse of the grandeur awaiting us in the cosmos. For centuries, scientists have pondered the mysteries beyond our solar system and the watchful gaze of the sun. Voyager 1 emerged as humanity's ambitious pursuit to seek answers to these timeless questions, venturing beyond the capabilities of our most powerful telescopes. This spacecraft has collected first-hand data about the vast interstellar space, relaying it back to Earth. After decades of a remarkably successful journey, Voyager 1 transmitted a startling message, leaving scientists astounded. NASA's most trusted interstellar spacecraft announced the detection of 300 unknown objects in space. Before unraveling the mystery behind these unidentified objects, let's explore one of the most remarkable tales of human space exploration. In August 2012, Voyager 1 achieved an extraordinary milestone by officially reaching the outermost boundary of our solar system, known as the heliopause. However, this accomplishment was far from easy. As Voyager 1 ventured farther from the Sun, its power source, three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, faced challenges due to diminishing sunlight. These devices convert plutonium-238 decay heat into electricity. The declining heat output led to reduced power, affecting various onboard systems. To conserve energy, non-essential systems and instruments have been deactivated or placed in a dormant state. However, further optimization or shutdown of critical systems may be necessary to prolong Voyager 1's operational life. The stark reality is that without intervention, Voyager 1's functionality will be severely limited. Additionally, the vast distance between Voyager 1 and Earth poses challenges, with signals taking over 21 hours to travel. Weak signals combined with interference and temperature extremes create obstacles to successful data transmission. Transitioning from the heliosphere to interstellar space exposes Voyager 1 to different temperature conditions. Extreme cold may impact materials, electronic components, and systems, affecting structural integrity. The sparse distribution of dust particles in interstellar space further poses risks, potentially causing wear and tear on the spacecraft. Moreover, the Deep Space Network, NASA's global antenna system, faces challenges in allocating limited resources for Voyager 1 communication. This scarcity complicates data retrieval and the transmission of reliable commands. As the signal strength continuously decreases, the complexities of communication with Voyager 1 intensify. Now, let's pause and delve into the extraordinary accomplishments of the Voyager probes, illuminating the unparalleled achievements that preceded the recent discovery of 300 unidentified objects. The triumphs of the Voyager twin probe serve as a testament to human ingenuity and the unyielding spirit of exploration. More than four decades ago, these exceptional spacecraft embarked on a transformative journey that forever altered our comprehension of the distant worlds within our solar system. Their early observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons shattered preconceptions, revealing dynamic, geologically active moons that contrasted sharply with the initially perceived notion of inactive, scarred surfaces akin to our moon. Among the Voyager probes, Voyager 2 stands out for its exceptional milestones. In 1986, it etched its name in history by becoming the first spacecraft to approach Uranus closely, offering humanity its inaugural up-close encounter with this enigmatic planet and its moons. A mere three years later, Voyager 2 achieved another groundbreaking feat with a flyby of Neptune, unraveling the mysteries of this icy giant. To this day, Voyager 2 remains the singular spacecraft to venture into the realms of Uranus and Neptune, a testament to its pioneering spirit. As the Voyager spacecraft continued its epic odyssey, NASA implemented measures over the past three years to extend their operational lifespan. Deactivating non-essential components and heaters has conserved energy, ensuring these intrepid explorers can continue their mission well into the next decade. 
with an estimated mission end date set for twin 3, it's a testament to the resilience and durability of the Voyager probes. For the dedicated scientists and engineers involved in this extraordinary endeavor from the outset, the culmination of the Voyager missions is both a moment of pride and a touch of melancholy. Their unwavering dedication and tireless efforts have exceeded initial expectations, providing invaluable insights, fueling scientific discoveries, and captivating the imagination of researchers and space enthusiasts worldwide. The Voyager probes stand out for their meticulous design as stable platforms featuring a rotation rate over 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. Engineered to minimize visual blurring while capturing images and data during their high-speed journey through space, their impressive imaging capabilities captivated scientists and the public alike. Even before reaching the outer planets, the Voyager spacecraft dazzled with their imaging prowess. Months prior to reaching Jupiter, they transmitted captivating images of the gas giant, showcasing swirling clouds and the iconic Great Red Spot. However, the revelation of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io stole the spotlight. The spacecraft's instruments detected peculiar signals, confirmed by vivid images revealing towering volcanic plumes and a surface scarred by volcanic material ejection. While the cameras of the Voyager spacecraft were eventually powered down before their interstellar journey, they did not capture images of Mercury and Mars for various reasons. In addition to the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 interstellar probes, NASA operated other notable spacecraft such as Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. Voyager 1 marked a historic moment on February 17, 1998, passing by Pioneer 10, making it the most distant spacecraft at that time. Voyager 1 continued its solitary voyage for another 14 years before entering the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012, a remarkable achievement publicly announced by NASA in 2013. Adding to the intrigue surrounding the Voyager missions, one technique that shaped the Voyager missions was the gravity assist maneuvers. These maneuvers played a pivotal role in propelling Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 on their audacious quest to explore the outer reaches of our solar system, to reach distant destinations, and gather crucial data. The spacecraft engaged in a celestial dance with heavyweight planets, utilizing their immense gravitational pull to slingshot themselves forward on their grand tour of the solar system. By engaging in this celestial dance with heavyweight planets, the Voyager probes not only conserved precious fuel but also gained the necessary velocity to embark on a grand tour of the solar system, leaving behind a lasting legacy of exploration and discovery. Now, as Voyager 1 diligently gathers and transmits valuable data back to Earth, scientists face the task of examining this information to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Amidst the continuous flow of data, a recent discovery has captivated researchers worldwide. A signal that perplexed and intrigued, Voyager 1 detected the presence of 300 unknown objects traversing interstellar space. These unidentified objects, emerging from the depths of the cosmos, challenge our current understanding of the universe. However, the intriguing aspect is that when Voyager 1 transmitted the information, the data arrived scrambled and unint. Eligible. This unusual occurrence raised numerous questions, but answers remained elusive. Despite the peculiar nature of the transmitted data, Voyager 1 itself remained unscathed, continuing to operate in remarkable condition. Its communication link with Earth remained intact, and the signal retained its strength, allowing valuable information to be sent to NASA without significant issues. Strikingly, none of the spacecraft's fault protection systems were triggered, indicating that it had not entered a protective safe mode as it would in the presence of threats. It became evident that Voyager 1 was not under attack, leaving scientists to wonder about the cause of the scrambled or inaccurate telemetry data. Could it be interference from external cosmic phenomena such as radiation or high-energy particles? Or might it be attributed to an entirely unknown phenomenon lurking in the depths of interstellar space? To uncover the truth, a meticulous analysis of various potential factors became imperative. NASA's research team embarked on a thorough examination of Voyager 1 systems, considering the impact of cosmic radiation on electronic components and exploring the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting the stability of its sensitive instruments. While it was postulated that something unusual might have occurred just before Voyager 1 reached the heliosphere and the challenges during that transition could have led to the scrambling of data, it became apparent that Voyager 1 was not in an area with concentrated challenges significant enough to pose a threat. 
the team scrutinized the intricacies of Voyager 1's communication systems, investigating potential signal distortions caused by cosmic noise interference or subtle shifts in its trajectory. This quest for answers necessitated a meticulous analysis of all potential factors spanning several weeks. The research process involved advanced data processing techniques, innovative algorithm development, and simulation of various scenarios to isolate the root cause of the unusual telemetry anomalies. After months of receiving scrambled data, scientists and engineers successfully restored the clarity and reliability of the information from the far reaches of interstellar space. The source of the problem was traced back to Voyager 1's attitude articulation and control system, specifically to an unexpected source of dormant onboard computer. Remarkably, this non-functional computer had somehow started operating, leading to the corruption of transmitted data. Nevertheless, the rest of the spacecraft systems remained operational, and data collection activities continued unhindered. With the problem identified, engineers swiftly devised a solution, sending a command to Voyager 1 to instruct the correct computer for transmitting telemetry data. Although this fix entailed relatively low risk, it required immense patience due to the significant time delay caused by the vast distance between Earth and Voyager 1. With radio signals taking nearly 22 hours to travel back and forth, yet another challenge presented itself. Voyager 1 was constructed decades ago, requiring the team to consult several manuals from the 1970s. With careful examination, they discovered a straightforward and low-risk solution, resetting the system responsible for data transmission. By implementing this solution, they resolved the issue without compromising any other components of the spacecraft. The success in restoring Voyager 1's communication stream was a testament to the expertise and dedication of the engineers involved. Their efforts underscored the importance of leveraging past knowledge and combining it with present technology to overcome challenges in space exploration. Engineers suspect that Voyager 1's deviation into utilizing the non-operational computer was triggered by a FAL command received from another onboard system, suggesting an underlying issue within the spacecraft's intricate computer network. Despite this, concerned mission managers remain cautiously optimistic, emphasizing that the incident does not pose a significant threat to Voyager 1's long-term well-being. The resilient probe swiftly recovered from the error and resumed its mission immediately after the correct computers were back online, marking another triumph in its exploration journey. With this successful restoration, Voyager 1 achieved a historic milestone by reaching the heliopause, the boundary marking its entry into interstellar space. The heliopause, situated approximately 123 astronomical units from the Sun, is a crucial boundary where the solar wind from the Sun encounters the interstellar medium. This boundary delineates the outer fringes of our solar system and represents the edge of the heliosphere, the region influenced by the sun's magnetic field and energetic particles. The heliosphere's fluctuating shape is influenced by the interstellar gas wind caused by the sun's motion through space, contributing to its intricate structure and behavior. When Voyager 1 and subsequent spacecraft crossed the heliopause, several remarkable phenomena unfolded. Firstly, there was a notable decrease in the temperature of the solar wind's charged particles as the spacecraft ventured beyond the direct influence of the sun's emissions. Despite this extreme environment, Voyager 1 continued its mission undeterred. Additionally, the direction of the magnetic field experienced a change, reflecting the altered influence of interstellar magnetic forces. Furthermore, there was a significant increase in the presence of galactic cosmic rays, high-energy particles originating from distant cosmic sources, becoming more prominent beyond the heliopause. While these phenomena provide valuable insights into the transition from the Sun's dominion to the vastness of deep space, there is no evidence to suggest alien involvement in Voyager 1's recent detection of 300 unidentified objects in interstellar space. The focus remains on scientific exploration and unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos through diligent analysis of the data transmitted by the spacecraft. In November 2018, Voyager 2, following in the footsteps of its predecessor Voyager 1, crossed the heliopause and entered interstellar space. This achievement marked a significant milestone in our understanding of the boundary between the sun's sphere and the interstellar medium. Voyager 2's encounter with the heliopause provided a unique opportunity for scientists to compare and contrast observations made by both spacecraft, deepening our comprehension of this celestial frontier. As Voyager 2 journeyed beyond the heliopause, it made intriguing discoveries that expanded our knowledge of this unexplored region. Notably, there was a sharp decrease in the intensity of low-energy ions, 
a result of the diminishing influence of the sun's direct emissions. Simultaneously, Voyager 2 detected an increase in the intensity of cosmic rays, high-energy particles originating from distant cosmic sources. Unlike Voyager 1, which experienced precursor events before exiting the heliosphere, Voyager 2 encountered a different scenario. Instead of precursor events, Voyager 2 unveiled the presence of a distinct boundary layer just beyond the heliopause. In this boundary layer, low-energy particles streamed outward along the Milky Way, offering a captivating glimpse into the intricate dynamics occurring at the interface of our solar system and the interstellar medium. This unexpected finding emphasized the complexity and unpredictability of the interstellar boundary, highlighting that seemingly identical spacecraft could have vastly different experiences in the pursuit of understanding. The unidentified objects encountered by Voyager 1 led scientists to explore various theories. One theory proposed that Voyager 1 might have encountered rogue planets or interstellar objects, celestial bodies wandering through space without orbiting any star. Another intriguing idea suggested that these unidentified objects could be remnants of ancient interstellar probes or spacecraft, drifting through space, raising the possibility of extraterrestrial involvement. The hypothesis of extraterrestrial involvement speculates the existence of an advanced alien civilization surpassing our technological capabilities. According to this theory, Voyager the first of may have ventured into their domain, potentially explaining its anomalous behavior. However, proving such an event occurred poses challenges due to current technological limitations in exploring vast distances within interstellar space. The ongoing investigation into Voyager 1's encounter with unidentified objects and the transmission of garbled data continues to captivate the scientific community. Scientists hope to shed light on the true nature of these objects and uncover the underlying causes behind Voyager 1's peculiar experience. The quest for knowledge and understanding in the realm of space exploration remains an exciting and ever-evolving endeavor. Thanks for watching another episode of You Don't Know. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.